So I'm Stephen Doughty. Uh, I'm Stella Creasy. And uh, we're back here on the first day um, of Parliament yep. um, after the Christmas and New Year recess. It's now Thursday the 12th of January. Uh, we made a video on Monday about all the things we were hoping to do in Parliament. Uh, Stella, you're on an important uh, bill this week yep. going through the so actual the law. The big thing for me this week is the work I'm doing to try and make sure that we get sex and relationship education for every young person in Britain. We've got an amendment to a piece of legislation that we'll be debating this week that hopefully the government will support. Mm. But I'm afraid the government voted against our proposal to make sure that it was part of safeguarding. But I can tell you exclusively now, I've just tabled the amendment again, so we will get one more shot at getting this into law uh, in February, we think it is, when the whole House, so every single MP, can vote on the proposal. You might hear my voice is a bit different today than it was on Thursday. I've had a rotten cold. And on Tuesday, when we were debating the issue, I had to have an MP intervene, so ask a question so that I could blow my nose. So uh, sometimes as an MP, you don't really get much time off when the issues are really, really important. We've got an important debate later this week on the issue of Yemen. As a country in the Middle East, um, there's a lot of Yemenis who live in, in my constituency yeah. in Cardiff South and Panath. So I've got a big interest in this issue. Um, and one of the things I've been raising for a number of months is Britain selling arms to Saudi Arabia, which have been used in Yemen um, against civilians. Um, I got the minister to actually apologise for previously providing misleading information to Parliament. So that was actually quite a, a step forward. But I'm Unfortunately, they didn't agree to give a timetable on when they're doing an independent investigation into the attacks on civilians. So still a long way to go yet. At the moment, the government has basically been letting the Saudi Arabians just investigate um, these allegations on their own. Um, so there's allegations that the Saudi Arabians are committing human rights uh, atrocities. Absolutely, and we're, and we're selling uh, arms to the Saudi Arabians. Now, um, there are and, others... And the worry is that we might be involved, uh, the arms that we make in Britain are involved in the uh, human rights uh, atrocities. I, I am yeah. absolutely clear that arms are involved, okay. um, and the government's admitted part of this. But um, although there are others committing atrocities, the Houthis um, and other parties in the conflict, we're only selling arms to one side, which is the Saudi Arabians. So um, that's where the real and issue what is. All of us would like to see has happened is no arms sales to people committing human rights Absolutely. atrocities. I mean, I think there should be a suspension until there's been a full independent yeah. investigation. There's over 180 allegations of things that have gone on, and yeah. the Saudi Arabians have only responded to about 13 of those so far. It's simply not good enough. The Yemen debate will take place at the same time as the discussions around sex and relationship education. And sometimes I'll get emails or calls people saying well I couldn't see you in the chamber so you obviously don't care about this mm -hmm. issue actually in Parliament there are lots of debates discussions committees going on all at the same time and there's only 650 MPs so we're all trying to cover a range of different issues we've been trying to get sex and relationship education on the national curriculum as long as I've been an MP for six years now um, but one of the things that I'm really passionate about getting it into the piece of legislation we're working on now, which is called the children and social work bill is because we're all really worried that with brexit happening everything else goes out the window. So when will we get any other opportunity to table legislation? We know there are thousands of pieces of legislation that will be changed by Brexit. So the debates that we're having now in Parliament, it's like the equivalent of the Monty Python foot coming splat down on everything else that you could possibly work on, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's education, whether it's even Yemen and international affairs, it's taking over everything that we're doing. A busy week, yeah. Um, lots of different things going on. Some, some wins, successes, some wins, some, some, some not so. And some. we need to make more progress. Yeah. But that's what yeah, it's the like. government thinks that we're giving up the fight. Yeah, well, it's yeah. what it's for like pretty much every week. Yeah. But if you want to know more about what we're doing, if you want to see more of these videos, yeah. um, you can subscribe uh, down at the bottom. Down you there. can you can like our videos. Yeah, you um, can email us. You can email us. You can Remember call our us. rule: as long as it's a question, you'd be happy for your mum to know that you'd asked us. We'll happily answer it. And um, all the comments we'll, we'll get, we'll look through those. Um, if you've got specific questions, please ask away and uh, we'll be in touch.